name is Concept MC. Double seven three, Road Dog Chicago. You are now in tune with Spazd Entertainment. Where you from? Uh, born and raised in Chicago. I uh, lived in the Humble Park area for most of my earlier years, and then around my teenage years, I was living like in the Gage Park area. Uh, after that, there was the whole city. What is the DST movement? The DST movement, the Double Seven Three team overall, is a collective of creatives, artists, uh, photographers, videographers, event organizers, graphic designers, producers. We 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 do it all, uh, and basically, as a collective, we all support and embrace each other for our talents that we are able to share in our arts and in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> How did you and Road Dogs Entertainment start collaboration? Oh man, I flew out to California about, I want to say five times last year. And we were building a relationship based off of some studio time that I had booked out there with OG Rome. Uh, he's my superior now. Um, and the head of Road Dogs Entertainment. Uh, but going out there and working on music videos as well as studio time with their team really showed me the work ethic and drive that they have for the uh, music industry that I needed. And what influenced you to start rapping? Uh, I needed a way out, man. I needed a self exp I needed a, a way to self-express everything that I was going through. I was in a neighborhood of gang violence and murder and drugs and so when I couldn't escape the war at home or, you know, be in my neighborhood without getting fucked with, I just decided that I'd stick in my own little world and open my notebook. And I mean, I was always a hip hop enthusiast, so I just became inspired to begin writing my own, uh, you know, music. And it was definitely creating for the things that I couldn't control around me. Um, if I didn't have music, I seriously don't know where I'd be or who I'd be at this point. Who are your inspirations? That's a good one. Um, my biggest inspirations are artists that a lot of the hip-hop community may not even know about. Uh, artists such as Typical Cats, Benefit, uh, Quasimodo, but then if I had to name a few of the uh, bigger artists that I truly do admire from the underground scene, there was Jedi Mind Tricks, uh, Immortal Technique, Atmosphere is one of my absolute favorites, uh, Sage Francis, another amazing artist, um, but I was influenced by artists that for the most part, we're into that. That's why they'd be my biggest inspirations, is because they are all independent artists that did it on their own. You know, if there's not a door, then you build one. What's the story behind your album? Uh, man, that Work a Hard album was one of the hardest projects to put together ever. And the reason was because if you listen to the project, you can see from the first track, I'm giving you my life story. It's a very autobiographical album where I'm basically putting you in the passenger seat as to everything that I had to deal with from day one till, you know, the last track, My Life Is, where I bring you up to speed as to what's happening. Who produced it? The Work of Heart Project was produced mostly by Cruise Effects. I believe he had four tracks produced completely by him on there and then we also had some uh, assistance with production from Mo Cyrus, my homeboy Fletch out in the west coast, my 773 brother MV and another one of our uh DST Associates, Danny Hatch. Mama never told me there'd be days like this. Manifest my dreams, pen and page my bliss. Remember hard times, I was sleeping on the couch. Told a moment I get on, I'ma get ass a house. Moment I get... Story behind your legacy, 
sometimes I just smoke the strongest fucking weed I could find, and then I get really fucking stoned in my chair, and I just think, you know what, it would be awesome if for my birthday I platformed a bunch of my favorite local vendors, artists, visual artists, music artists, sponsors, and just get them all together, and you know what, I'm gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> some of my favorite recent events that we've had are definitely the Demon Dimension series was by far one of the dopest events of 2019. Shout out to Squeak Stars Ula for allowing me to be a part of that. Uh, Demon Dimension and Hell House were definitely two of my favorite events of all time. Uh, one of the first times I ever got to crowd surf. Um, but yeah, Confess, Demon Dimension, Hell House, definitely my favorite events of my entire life shit. What's some future projects you have coming up? Uh, we're putting together three music festivals this year, as well as an album that's set to release for this August, uh, Masterpiece, uh, is the follow-up to Work a Heart. Masterpiece, which is the follow-up to Work a Heart. And uh, aside from that, I mean, we're going to be touring the U.S. later on this summer. Uh, we're collaborating with as many amazing independent artists as we can at the moment. Uh, got to always shooting music videos. Damn near every day we got a video going on. So, um, yeah, there's, 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 there's a fucking long list of projects that we got pumping out of us over here. What is Masterpiece? Masterpiece will be my sophomore album. Uh, it's the follow-up to Work of Heart. And it's going to be basically a fictional story based on a character that becomes a product of his environment. He's surrounded by gangs, drugs, guns. It's a story that I'm all too familiar with. But it's going to be uh, basically a fictional story based off of a lot of my life experiences as well as the experiences of those that are close around me. And it's going to kind of shed some light on to how the glorified gang and gun violence and, you know, drug dealing lifestyle is affecting the youth and, you know, molding them into ultimately what ends up being depressed and hurt people uh, that are just covering it all up and masking it with violence. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a very, uh, a relatable project, I would say. What's your favorite creative project? That's a tough one. Um, my favorite creative project, Dancing with Demons, is the project that introduced me to the most amazing visual artist, as well as my current girlfriend, Squeak Star Zula. Uh, we worked probably about six, seven months on that music video, just putting it together. Uh, aside from that. Work of Heart was oh, so, such a amazing relief to finally have finished when it was done. Confest uh, was my, my festival that I've organized. It. We're going to be on year three this year. That's definitely one of my absolute favorite places to be and uh, projects to get to be a part of and involve the community in. What is Demon Game? <laughs> Demon Gang, we out here taking lives, nah, uh, <laughs> Demon Gang is, it's, uh, a branch of the same tree as Double Seven Three, in my opinion, uh, it's also a group of creatives, uh, including models and actors, uh, as well as clothing designers, uh, it's led, spearheaded pretty much by Squeak Star Zula, and, uh, it's basically an amazing support system that I don't know what I'd do without, to be honest. How did you and Squeak meet? It was during the Dancing with Demons project. Uh, the music video. Actually, it was even before the music video was thought of. Before the song was made, I had reached out to her and asked her if she was interested in making a music video. And we had seen each other in the scene plenty of times. Uh, we would, you know, I'd be booked to perform and she'd be doing her visual art thing. For years, I'd see her. And we started getting more involved. I remember I did a charity event uh, around the, I believe it was November of last year, 
two years ago, and uh, yeah, I I I definitely tried to get her more involved into what I was doing, as she was already an inspiration to me, and working on the Dancing with Demons project was definitely something that brought us a lot closer. We were able to communicate and relate with each other and find out all of the different ways that uh, we, you know, connected with each other. I love you, baby. My music is meant to inspire. I, I, I aspire to inspire you to inspire others. Um, turn on some lights in a world that seems so dim, in all honesty. I'm just, uh, my music is meant to uplift people, motivate people. If you, if you hear music of mine and, you know, a lot of times I'm having fun on a song like Training Day or, uh, Lately, you know, I'm having fun, but ultimately the music is meant to motivate you, uh, and inspire you to, you know, do whatever the hell it is that you have in your heart and your mind, you know, stop wishing you could do something and get up and do it, I hope that's what other people are able to pick up from it, because that's ultimately what the message is. Free with a passion. www.itsconsworld.com That's I-T-S-K-O-N-S world.com uh, Aside from that, if you're looking for any of my social media, if you're looking for any of my music, uh, I'm on all streaming platforms and pretty much all social media. Just go to Google and you can search Concept DMC. Uh, yeah, it's consworld.com. It's the best place to keep up with me. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Road Dogs Entertainment, Road Dog Chicago, Double Seven Three Records, Double Seven Three The Team, Demon Gang. I want to give a shout out to all of the uh, music artists, all of the visual artists, all of the entrepreneurs, hardworking people that are helping us keep the lights on around here, as well as uh, my entire team. Was a fight from a stumble, ayy. I'ma need more blunts and a little more light. Bring the camera real close while I dirty my sprite. Said, This what you want, yeah.